Recently, a dietitian named Abby Sharp criticized the carnivore diet. In reality, she is just another pseudo-intellectual using bro science and appeals to authority. She says things that are commonly accepted in our society, yet far from the truth. The main issues with dietitians are that they were educated on the wrong information. Their whole career is dependent on our modern conventional wisdom, the incorrect nutritional advice that has essentially made America the obese and unhealthy nation that we have today. Uh, To say these people are invested for the wrong reasons is a bit of an understatement. And as a result, in the day of eating video that we're going to look at today, she is literally starving herself. And I would like to call this the standard American starvation diet. You are consuming a lot of food, eating very frequently, but you are depriving your body of animal protein and animal fats. So it is constantly hungry and does not have the vitamins, minerals, elements, and fatty acids our bodies need to function. The reason people can't lose weight, the reason people are unhealthy, is simply a lack of quality, nutrient-dense animal foods. Let's see why this dietitian thinks she's better than everyone else. Okay. All right, so it's like 5.30 in the morning, and I'm going to start to get ready, because today's spin day. Spin day. Yeah. I don't wake up so like that. I just hopped out of bed. I'm ready to run through some drywall. Spin. It's just, you know, I'm tired. I'm a week out from the wedding, a little bit stressed, um, but this is a good stress reliever, so there is no skipping workouts at this point in the game, and uh, and we gotta get we got to get going. So I'm going to go make a little coffee after this, brush my teeth, and uh, I'll meet you at the gym. I don't drink coffee. Hey guys, I'm already in the skin room. I'm always the first one here because I like to do a little pre-workout warm-up to get ready for the killer road ahead. Um, I'm already out of breath, so I guess that's a good sign. So I'll catch you when I'm really hot and red and sweaty, and we'll do a little post-workout snack. Okay, see you then. Hey guys, so I just got out of my spin class. This is what a badass workout looks like. Really red, really sweaty, I'm exhausted, but I feel great, and I'm so ready for a little post-workout snack. So come back to my kitchen, and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna eat. I know that in America, it is the norm to feel like shit, and it's unfortunate. Everyone needs coffee to exercise in the morning just to get things going. This is primarily because of vitamin D3 deficiency, although they don't teach you that in dietitian school, unfortunately. The other issue with things like coffee, especially these nut milks, she's drinking like almond milk, they are liquids very high in anti-nutrients phytic acid, oxalates, you're essentially dousing your digestive system in the morning with a mineral absorbing liquid. Not exactly good from a micronutrient perspective in getting your minerals and elements in your diet. I have a whole video on coffee, why cortisol goes up, how it can be very stressful to the adrenals and the overall hormonal system in women. And especially when you combine that with a diet that's lacking other nutrients, you can see exacerbated issues. You know, she was out of breath after being on the bike for a very short period of time. Her post-workout shake isn't really doing her any favors either. She has more almond milk, more anti-nutrients. She puts some cherries in there, which is just sugar. You know, frozen cherries, very oxidized, low nutrient content, not a quality food. You know, herbicides and pesticides frequently used. Protein powder does have reasonable availability because it is a laboratory isolate. What's lacking in protein powder is the micronutrients found in animal protein, a lot of the minerals and elements. Not only that, you know, protein powders can contain dozens and dozens of chemicals and harmful ingredients that we haven't really done a whole lot of research on knowing how safe they are for us long term. Overall, so far, she hasn't really had a significant source of fat or micronutrient nutrition in her diet. You know, no semblance of vitamins, minerals, elements, or fatty acids, just really protein and carbohydrates. She's giving her body some form of energy, but not enough to perform basic cell functions. Okay guys, I'm all recovered after my first spin workout. 
I've already answered some emails and run a few little morning errands and I'm ready to make a quick breakfast. Mix the egg whites with the oatmeal. Oh, that's gross. So I just finished up my weight training session with my trainer. I try to see him about three times a week on the same days that I do my spinning or my cardio, so I'm not doubling up on the weights. Um, and I'm starving right now, so I'm gonna go make myself a little something for, for lunch. Something that's really high in protein that, of course, is gonna refuel after that workout. So let's go do it. The breakfast with the oatmeal, the egg whites, blueberries, almond milk is an example of modern fear mongering around animal products, around fat, around cholesterol. If she was actually eating egg yolks, she might not have to eat three or four meals before noon. She is depriving her body of the animal nutrition it needs to recover from a workout. And I was going to say, this young lady doesn't have the best body composition. You know, she's not really too lean or too muscular. I'm assuming she doesn't do weight training, but if she's doing weight training three times a week and she has that amount of muscle mass, she's clearly depriving her body of nutrition. Notice how she had to put salt and cinnamon in the oatmeal to make it taste palatable. You know, despite having the sweetness of the blueberries and the raspberries, apparently that's not enough. And then she moves on to lunch, but puts like five tiny pieces of chicken on a giant plate of vegetables. Not only that, you know, she puts soy sauce in there, salt and sugar. She's dousing it in sriracha. Her body's missing something. You know, I did a raw meat mukbang the other week where I ate a giant plate of raw meat and felt super satisfied. That's all I ate the whole day. Humans need animal nutrition to be satiated and recover. And she's clearly depriving herself of it. So here I am again. I know I'm looking a little different than I was before, um, but we've been filming some Abby's Kitchen videos here today and I'm just getting ready to set up for another one. So this is around the time I need a quick little bit of energy, a nice little snack to get me through the next few, uh, few recipes. So I'm going to get to that right now. Really? High protein cereal. So we're just wrapping up, we're just cleaning everything up and getting all the food put away, um, but I need a little quick something something to get me through the rest of this cleanup. So I'm going to go make myself a quick little snack. Hey guys, so I'm about to have a little dinner, so I'm going to make something for myself. Um, and I know you're probably thinking, that girl's eating so many times throughout the day, and I know I am. I'm eating frequently because, of course, it's the last week before you're my wedding. You're starving yourself I'm of real food. More, so I need to fuel those workouts. And I think that's one of the big mistakes that a lot of brides make, is that they cut calories so low that by the time they get to the honeymoon, they totally rebound because their metabolism is so shot. So I haven't done that. I've really focused on getting really good quality food in and feeling satiated and just feeling good. And it's working. So I'm going to make my little meal here and I'll see you soon. Surprise, surprise guys, snack number three. I love baby bells. I always have baby bells in the fridge for an easy, quick snack, and I'm gonna really enjoy these.
Hey guys, so I'm just getting ready to finish up my last snack of the night. This is a little cottage cheese with tons of almonds on top and some toasted coconut. Such a great snack. It is loaded with casein protein, which is a really slow digesting protein, so it keeps me fuller longer, which I really think is great. I don't wake up hangry. Um, and you know, I hope you really enjoyed my little what I eat in a day the week before my wedding. Um, it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna definitely do another one of these when I get back from the honeymoon so that you can kind of see how I incorporate healthy foods into my everyday balanced diet when I'm not trying to fit into a really tight, backless, not forgiving dress, if you know what I mean. Um, also, the thing I want you to know is this whole time I've still been eating out and enjoying myself. I mean, even just the other day, I went out for dinner, I had dessert, I had a beer. It doesn't how many, mean you how cannot much are you gonna eat? enjoy yourself. So it's all about, you know, moderation and balance. So I hope you guys loved this. Um, if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below about, of course, what you're making for dinner and what you're eating today. Um, eating 10 times a day is moderation and balance? She literally had nine meals during this day of eating. This is a testament to how much plant food herbivores need to eat, how little nutrition these plant foods have in comparison to animal foods. You know, the high protein cereal, dozens of negative ingredients, really low quality grain based crap. Yogurt has all the fat taken out, sugar added in, more crap, no nutrients, no animal fats, not enough animal protein. And she had celery with almond butter, more almonds, more nuts, very high phytate content. I wouldn't be surprised if this girl was anemic just based off of her incredibly high consumption of these mineral binding substances. Uh, she said that a lot of pregnant women have a slow metabolism because they rebound too fast from their diet. No, you're depriving yourself of animal fat, animal protein that is wreaking havoc on your hormones. And then you go crazy eating out and indulging in restaurants because when people go to restaurants, they feel like they could eat animal foods or they don't like purchasing them themselves. Uh, she had zucchini, noodle, turkey, bolognese, just a bunch of high water vegetables with very lean turkey protein. This is tying into like the calories in, calories out thing, how people are afraid of calories, which they really shouldn't be. She was snacking on some baby bell, doesn't have any understanding of food quality, how important it is to source things like raw grass-fed cheeses because of their nutrient density, and then she had cottage cheese with almonds and coconut in it, more nuts, more oxalates, more phytic acid. Uh, she goes on to say that casein protein digests slow, so it's better. No, that's not better. Something digesting slowly, the large casein particles found in cow's milk is an indicator that there's more inflammation. It's harder for your body to deal with it. Drinking a fast digesting protein like goat or sheep milk, why would you want your body to take longer to digest something? It doesn't make any sense. 15 grams of casein protein or 15 grams of whey protein. If 15 grams of protein absorbs faster in your stomach, why wouldn't you want the quicker absorbing option? There's no reason to delay the absorption of nutrition in your body. Your body can always utilize whatever it needs. So we have all these people who think they're healthy and intelligent, misleading others to do the same thing, yet they look pale, they don't have a good body composition, they're lacking energy, taking everyone else along the ride with them. So thank you guys for watching. I mean, I'm never too optimistic about the future and really finding a solution to all the misinformation out there. Um, but if you guys would like to support me further, uh, just check out some of the other videos on my channel. If you could please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon, and share it if you can. Recently, I've launched Frankie's Naturals, bringing you guys high quality, minimally processed, minimal ingredient cosmetics and toiletries. You can check those out at frankiesnaturals.com. We also have Frankie's Free Range Meat, bringing you nutrient-dense animal foods at an affordable price. So if you guys want to look good on the inside and out, you can check out Frankie's Naturals as well as Frankie's Free Range Meat at frankiesfreerangemeat.com. Thanks again, guys, for joining me and enjoy the rest of the day.